All right. Today, we'll be talking about multi-row data changes. So there's a lot of use cases for this. Anytime users need to make the same change to more than one row, whether it's deleting or changing to the same piece of data on a whole host of rows, it doesn't make sense to make the user go in and do it on every single one of them. It's inconvenient, it's inefficient, and so AppSheet has created an option where you have one button, and it'll do it on all the rows you want it to do. Now, in order to do this, you need two things. First, you need the action you're gonna commit on the individual rows. So, for instance, you have a project table, and that project table has a column called status. Now, that status is maybe on hold until the customer has given you the go-ahead. Now, once the customer has given you the go-ahead, you want to hit one action that changes every project associated with that customer to your new status. So, you need two pieces. First of all, you need the action that is going to change the data in each individual column. And then you need the action that's going to choose the rows that you want to perform that first action on. So you create the first action and do the, the action that is data set column to specific data. And in that, you're going to put in the new value of status, which is ready. Now, on your next one, you choose the one that is data change value of series of rows. In this one, you're going to choose two things. One, the other action you previously made. And then two, you're going to create an expression that returns all of the rows you're looking for. So, for instance, a select expression that selects all projects, and your condition is the customer equals whatever customer you're looking for. Now, the other thing you wanna make sure of is on that first action for the individual rows, normally, in most cases, you're going to want to set this to do not display. Because again, in most cases, you don't wanna give both of these actions as options. There are cases where you might, but as a general rule, you wanna make sure that's the case. To recap, this action is very useful when you need to change a list of rows all at once, or you need to change a list of things all to the same thing at once, need to delete a group of things at once. This allows users not to have to go into each individual row and delete all of these individually, which we have already said was inefficient. And to do this, it takes two primary steps, making the individual action that you're trying to accomplish, and then making the action that specifies which rows you want this accomplished on. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.